Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well, staying safe, all those kind of things. And today I'm going to walk through a photo edit and show a couple of tools that I use to shape the light in a photo to really create some impact and get the look that I want. Let's get into it. Here's a photo I shot a number of years ago at this point. Uh, Loop 360 bridge here in Austin. It's a great view. It was a sunrise. It was lovely. It was late in the year. As you can see, kind of there's some color in the trees. And uh, I want to make this photo look better. So one of the first things I like to do, um, photos like that, is start with Axon AI, which I've now done. And I'm going to run through some of the edits and then get into the light shaping here. So let me just see what I'm going to do here. Add a little bit of contrast, probably, and put on the highlights. It's funny how my tastes have changed in the old days. Uh, like this is a single exposure from a set of brackets. But in the old days, I would only make an HDR because that section on the left over here, where a lot of that is kind of not really blown out, but you can't see any texture in the clouds or anything. I used to hate that. Now, it doesn't bother me at all. So um, I kind of like it, in fact. So I'm going to lift the shadows a tiny bit. And I think I'll come into structure. And here's a cool thing you can do, by the way, with structure. Um, you, you see me do this a lot where I want to come in here. I'm going to get a gradient mask. And then I'm going to drop that into the sky because I want to soften that up. And by the way, I see a couple of spots in the sky. So you'll just forgive me for not getting those out of the way before the video started. But now that I've added that gradient mask to the sky, of course, I can make further adjustments to soften it more. But the other thing I can do, because I also want to create some softness in the water is just switch to paint mask and then I can come over here and just paint a mask in. So even though I used a gradient, I can also come over here and add a brush mask on top of it for that structure so, so that I can just kind of take advantage or you know get it all done in one tool. Otherwise, you'd be in, uh, ending up using a local mask, which is not a whole lot of extra work, but anyway, just something that maybe you weren't aware of and if you weren't, hope it helps. Um, okay, while I'm at it, I'm going to give a little bit of vibrance to the photo. It was fairly vibrant already, but hey, I like my color. You probably know that if you've been here before. And golden hour because I can't resist. Look at that. I, I, that's, I like the colors here. And that's one of the reasons I chose this image. There's a lot of colors. There's a lot of light. There's a lot going on. And so uh, there's now my, uh, I'm going to call it my base image. I think we came a long way. There it is before and there it is now. Very colorful, very exciting. Um, but here's what I want to do is I kind of want to shape the light. So there's really three, th uh, three key tools that I like to use for that. The first one, of course, is dodge and burn. Now, I've done videos about dodge and burn before, so this will not be a full tutorial, but I like to start with a lower strength, like maybe around 10 or 12. I'm going to start with lighten, and I'm going to increase my brush, and I'm going to lighten this section over here um, of the lake. It feels a little bit dark, and you can just click and then unclick your mouse to start over. So I wiped all that and then I'm going to come back and then do it again. So I did that a couple of times there. That's helped me lighten that area, which I kind of like. I'm going to create a lower brush, leave the strength the same, and I'm going to come in here and lighten these trees a little bit as well. And I like that look. And, you know, while you're doing it, sometimes it doesn't seem or feel like you're having a big impact on the photo. But what you'll find is if you turn the tool on and off after a while, you'll say, oh, wow, I actually did have a big impact. I'm actually going to slightly lighten the highway as well and a little bit of that grass over there here down the loop um, and also some of this section right over there. So that's it for lighten. For darken, I'm going to leave strength at 12 as well. Notice, by the way, that there's a, a minus sign and then when you're uh, doing lighten, it's a plus sign. And by the way, the keystroke is X. If you hit that, that'll pop you between uh, brighten and darken. So I'm gonna darken this area here because I don't really care about spending any visible um, energy on it. In other words, I don't want viewers to get distracted. So I mentioned those kind of things a fair amount. I, I think about that as I'm editing, that you know, what's a viewer gonna be looking at? And the other thing I wanna do while I'm darkening is slightly darken some of those hills around those buildings and maybe a little bit up in there, a little bit up in there, just that kind of thing. Some of the areas that are already a little bit dark, I just want to darken them maybe a little bit more. So all darkening and lightening really does is create further 
contrast in your image. So now that I've done dodge and burn, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I turn this off, you can see that's what it looked like before. And now when I turn it back on, you can see how that's impacted the photo. So dodge and burn is the first thing that I'll often use to create a bit of um, light adjustment, right? Shaping the light in a photo. The second tool I like to use is super contrast. And I've talked about that in many videos as well. So I'm gonna add some highlights contrast and some midtones contrast. Uh, and then generally what I do is move these balance sliders around. So you can see as I move this left and right, the highlights are getting affected. I don't wanna go left because that really blows out that other side. Maybe I wanna pull this a little bit to the right. Let me try midtone contrast. If I go to the right, you're getting darker. If we go to the left, getting a little bit brighter. I kind of like that. And I am gonna add a little bit of shadows contrast. I don't think I'm gonna mess with the balance. Shadows contrast, uh, basically shadows are dark. So anytime you start moving this tool, it lightens them, right? So fully um, unused or you know at zero basically, the shadows are darker. And as I move it to the right, it will increase those. So that's a great way to shape the light as well. I'm not gonna mess with the balance there, but let me show you the impact this one had. There it is before, and there it is after. So I think we've got a nice looking photo overall. And one more tool, and this is one you may not think about for shaping the light, but it's actually the color tool. And the reason why is because there's this luminance section here. And that's one of the reasons I chose this image because there's a lot of colors. There's yellows, there's greens, there's oranges, and of course, there's a fair amount of blue. So you can adjust those things here with luminance. So if you wanted to see what's being affected by red, just come in here and drag the red left and right. You can see it's impacting those trees in the bottom of the photo. When I go left, they're much darker. When I go to the right, they're uh, quite a bit lighter. I like it kind of lighter, it really pops. It really says, hey, this is a fall image, uh, or I think it was winter here, but it looks like fall. Um, orange, same kind of thing, right? So that's gonna brighten those and it really gets them kind of screaming, which I kind of like. Uh, and then blue, I lightened that section earlier in that bottom right corner of the lake because I wanted that blue to be brighter. I used that uh, dodge and burn for that. But you can also come in here and adjust the luminance of the blue and you can see what that does to the photo as I move it left and right. I am, of course, going to go right and create a little bit brighter look there. And um, I think that's had a nice impact on the photo. And overall, that's uh, the three key tools that I would use to impact or shape the light in a photo. Dodge and burn, super contrast, and oddly, the color tool. And that's because of the luminance sliders. So if I turn this off, that's what I started with. And that's where I am now. So I've got a vibrant, colorful image, which I like quite a bit. And to be clear, by the way, um, there's a lot of blue in this thing. Let me close that. Um, so if you wanted to, of course, you just come in here to saturation and take the blue saturation down and actually might lighten that. I actually think I like it a little bit less saturated in the blue. One of the nice things I think that really makes this image pop for me is the color contrast because yellow and blue are opposite each other on the color wheel and so they're very complementary colors and so you've got that yellow it's really more orange but that yellowy orange and of course that blue they really um, complement each other here so that interplay where it's kind of like yellowy orange more to the bottom and of course uh, and, and more to the left and then more blue of course in the sky and in the water so high or to the top and to the right. So just something I think about, but that's how I'd go about it. And by the way, you could also, because of the, um, the greens and yellows here, you could come in here with the yellows and adjust. If you look here at like along the side of the highway, it's really being impacted. And if I drag it to the right, it's, uh, it's getting brighter. So that's something else to play with. And then the greens are also in this photo, not quite as, uh, uh, much on the bright side, but if I go to the left, you can see it does add a little bit of contrast, which I kind of like actually, so I'm kind of glad I did that. And I think I might go back to yellow and actually brighten that up a little bit. Yeah, I think I like it like that. So that's my image. Those are the tools that I'm talking about to help you shape the light. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for hanging out, my friends, uh, swinging by, all those kind of things. Take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you soon. I'll be back really soon with more videos, and I'll see you then. Have a great one. Take care, and adios.